let's talk about how you can select and execute your very first Power BI project that blows everyone away. Let's get started. Now, this question came up in the last Talk Power BI, which is a live Power BI Q&A session I run on Fridays. If you would like to join me there, then just make sure you click the subscribe button and click the bell icon. That way you're gonna be notified every time I go live to, uh, to answer your questions. So this question came up in the last Talk Power BI and generated quite a good discussion. And what we're talking about here is that you are ready to get started on your very first Power BI project. But before you dive in and maybe put a lot of time and effort into you know executing something and maybe not getting the results you expected I want to hold back and share with you six tips to select the right project and I believe that is critical before you even create your first DAX measure or do the first thing in your query editor so I'm going to share that my six tips with you and what I would love to hear from you is if you have any tips from your experience about adopting deploying Power BI within your organization then leave a comment below let me know and share with others that uh, you know uh, whatever tips you have the number one tip is to ask for forgiveness not permission so if you are sitting around waiting for everybody to get on a consensus that yes, uh, we authorize Power BI as the official tool of the organization and everybody shall use it. Gosh, those things take too long and who knows if it'll work. And plus all of that, uh, what, uh, what that usually involves is a lot of talking. And my friend, talk is cheap. I would rather you build something and just show them. So go ahead, execute a project, pick a project and go for it, build something that you can show around. Second tip is that you do not select an old report and try to recreate that in Power BI. Maybe you can come back to that later. That certainly should not be your first Power BI project. First of all, you're probably not gonna get a, a, a net win out of this, at least nothing apparent. So most people will see the old report, new report, and they'll say, what's the big deal? We already had it. Now under the covers, you might have done a lot of work and that's where Power BI is, is scintillating, right? It's amazing where you can have all this magic going on in the query editor and all the magic of measures, but often that's lost, they may be lost on the audience, so they may not see it. So I would advise against just recreating an old report in Power BI, build something new, tackle something new. So let's talk about how you select a new project. And our number three tip is that you select a small, a bite-sized project. So do not embark on a, you know, like a six months journey. Those days are gone, my friend. Power BI is Agile BI. I want you to think in terms of weeks, maybe even in terms of days. If you get some external help, I knew when I went in as a consultant, we would build something, this initial project, in a matter of days, in a matter of two to three days. So I want you to think quick turnaround and yeah, pick something bite-sized, which you can execute really, really quick rather than a long-winded project. Number four, just because you're picking a small project doesn't mean that it's not gonna be impactful. You wanna pick something up which is gonna be incredibly impactful, which people look at and it's, it's a head turner, right? They go look at that and go, whoa, that is nuts, that is crazy. So you want something like that and the way to pull that off is to focus on things which were either hard or impossible in the old world, but are really easy in the new world. And if you have gone through even my basic zero to dashboard tutorial, and I'll put a link up above right here, uh, if you've gone just through that basic stuff, you should have tons and tons of examples of, oh yeah, I could do that, and that's gonna be so much faster, so much easier in Power BI compared to the old world. So look for those things, and if you need help, hey, come ask me in the Talk Power BI sessions. Number five, make sure your project is a complete project and it goes end to end. Do not put lipstick on a pig. And here's what I'm talking about. So real Power BI project, whenever I build something, it's not a prototype, it's not a throwaway. You want something which is meaningful and it stays at the end of the, the, the quick pilot, quick prototype you're doing, it should still be useful. So it's gonna be end to end in the sense that you're gonna to connect to multiple data sources and bring them on all in using the query editor to clean shape transform. Use that magic. And then once it's in your model, you're gonna define a model, define the data lookup tables, define the relationships, create the relationships and create. The magic is in the measures, right? That's what I always say. So make sure you have your good set of measures and then you do the visualization. So end to end. And I know most likely what the end user is gonna see is the visualization, but some people do this where they take whatever 
you know, Excel hell slash data hell they had earlier, and they simply put pretty Power BI visualization and all that, you're missing the point. That's that's not, Power BI is not just a pretty picture. It's not about that. Sooner or later, your hand is going to be revealed. I mean, you know, they're going to find out that, hey, the emperor has no clothes. This new world, unless you change, go end to end, is not really that much better. So if you only do the visualization, and that's what putting a, a lipstick on a pig is, right? That you only do that pretty visual part, you're not really, you're really changing anything. It's still a pig and everybody's gonna know. Number six, it's time to show and tell. Yes, my friend, you've done all the hard work. You have something amazing. Share it around, show it, and let that be the shining beacon that attracts and inspires people around you. So those are my six tips of selecting the first project that's gonna blow everybody away in your organization. Now, if you have any tips from your experience, then leave them down in the comment below. I would love to hear from you. And of course, that would help everybody else who's on this path as well. Until next time, power on my friend.